Since posting the videos proving David Gates is a false prophet, some have gone so far as to claim he messed up like William Miller did when he set a date and so he's not a false prophet. Problem is, the mistake of Miller was prophesied. The date setting of David Gates, no, that was never prophesied. He set a date in direct defiance to the written word of God. He set that date when he gave that starting point for his so-called 1,260-day prophecy that I covered in detail in this video. That prophecy of David Gates ended March 7, 2019, unfulfilled. But many keep defending him and even offer up brand new dates for his prophecy. Some said he meant April 22, 2019. Well, that day has come and gone. Then they said April 30th, and they based that date on the fact that David Gates said his prophecy will fulfill sometime in March or April of 2019. Well, that day also came and went without fulfillment. And now they are declaring June 21st, which happens to be the first day of summer, or the end of spring, as their new date, that David Gates' prophecy will be fulfilled. Even though he said with his own lips that it would fulfill sometime in March or April of 2019. And so, June 21st is going to come and go without fulfillment because you cannot trust prophecy that is declared outside of God's written word. The man set a date of March 7th, 2019, no matter what his defenders might say or how many dates they come up with. And by setting that date, David Gates declared himself a false prophet. In fact, it was prophesied. We must never set dates in the last days in both scripture and spirit of prophecy. David Gates is just one of many false prophets out there today, just as real prophecy stated there will be. And so, for those dear SDA people and leaders that keep defending David Gates for setting a date, you need to stop defending the creature over and above the creator who is blessed forever. David Gates is a false prophet. Your Bible is clear. No matter how many times people seek to defend him by twisting scripture, spirit of prophecy, or even historic record for that matter, the reality is the man set a date long after 1844, which according to true prophetic fact, we were warned no dates are ever going to be given after 1844. And even if Gates never set a date, he has a 501c3, which proves he disobeyed the Lord and therefore cannot possibly have any prophetic utterance whatsoever. Only the obedient are given utterance. All David Gates and all the other SDA pastors can do now is to echo the pioneers of their church who already did their homework when they had prophetic utterance due to their obedient walks. See, that is why the Seventh-day Adventist Church continues to do Revelation seminars to this day. They know using someone else's work that was blessed of God will bring the people in. But because they ignored the Lord when he declared to keep the church and state separate, and of all states to join with, the second beast of Revelation, the United States, well, their gift to understand prophecy has been taken away. And so they now echo their pioneers over and over again because they have no other choice. And this is also why we see false prophets stepping up in the SDA church. And all I can say at this point is pray for those SDA leaders and those poor souls that echo their false messages. Pray that they repent. And one last thing. It says this in 2 Peter chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. It says, But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction, and many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. We have the truth, brothers and sisters. We have it. That truth is in Scripture and Spirit of Prophecy that declares you cannot set dates after the end of the 2,300-year prophecy of Daniel that came to fulfillment in 1844. To say otherwise is to be one that speaks evil of the truth in God's Word, as Second Peter chapter 2 just warned. Some will do. 
those that defend David Gates have not a single Bible verse nor anything from Spirit of Prophecy to back their defense of this man, his message, or even his pernicious ways. If you refuse to follow the Lamb wherever he goeth, then as you follow the ways of those your own Bible declares to be pernicious, means you will see swift destruction come upon you. For only the truth as it is written by the ever-living God can be trusted. And so those of you that have no faith in God's word, thinking you're going to fare well in the judgment by standing firm, defending the lies of men, Romans chapter 3 verse 4 says, God forbid, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Thank you for watching. God bless.